So the question is, can you use Kali Linux on a Raspberry Pi as a daily driver? The simple answer is yes, but don't expect to get more than what Kali Linux is designed for. Kali Linux is made for digital forensics and penetration testing, and it offers so many tools for both professionals and enthusiasts alike. The purpose of this video is to try to use Kali for basic normal daily functions such as web browsing and watching videos. I am not going to touch any of the pen testing and forensics that Kali is designed to do since most of those capabilities may get me ousted from YouTube and I'm not trying to do that. What I like about Kali on Raspberry Pi is the robust solid look it is also one of the fastest installing operating systems on the Pi. It took me less than 10 minutes from start to finish and that includes flushing DOS to a microSD card. Just FYI, I am using an 8GB Raspberry Pi 4 and it is not overclocked. As it is the case with most Raspberry Pi installations, you will need to use a PC or Mac to download the latest version of Kali Linux from offensive security website. The download link is in the description at the bottom. As of the time of making this video, it is version 2020.4. Using Raspberry Pi Imager, you can flush the downloaded image to a microSD card. I am using a 32GB microSD card, but a 16GB should work too. Once the image is flushed into a microSD card, you can remove it and insert it into the Raspberry Pi. Start it and that is it. You do not have to do anything else. When you get to the login screen, enter Kali as the username and Kali as the password. Wait for the system to boot up, then you can do a quick update as I am showing you here. sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. As you can see, everything looks solid. I tested a few forensic tools and penetration testing. They all worked as expected. Now let's launch YouTube and see how well it works. It kind of work. It is not as fast as what I showed you in my previous videos with Android 10 on a Raspberry Pi. There is definitely a noticeable lack of video acceleration. Videos are sluggish and not very pleasant to watch on higher resolutions, especially playing it at 1080p. But if you just need to quickly look up some tutorial or a block of instructions online, this should do the trick. Internet browsing is smooth and I have no complaints at the moment.
One thing that I have to mention is Kali Linux did not come with LibreOffice pre-installed. It may not be a big deal for some people, but I do like to keep logs and trackers or quick instructions when I'm working on projects with Kali Linux tools, and it is a must-have for me. If you need to know how to install LibreOffice on Kali Linux, stick around and follow these instructions. Anyway, this is it for today. If you are not a member yet, subscribe and like and help spread the word. As always, thank you for watching. Catch you in the next video.